This is called the Superman pose. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Hoku. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the Turtle Girl. Today we're talking about basking areas. So you might remember that like a couple weeks ago, Mm, more like a few weeks ago. You might remember that some time ago we talked about um, lighting and heating and we discussed basking lighting and such, but we really didn't discuss like the different types of basking areas. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So first let's just jump right into this. There are like four main types of basking areas. Yes, four main types of basking areas. Okay, so let's start with the first. So we have your normal store-bought basking platforms that are floating so like ones that either suction cup to the side of the wall and ones that um stand inside the tank and have like a stand and then the platform itself can float up and down to accommodate the water level so there are a couple things that i like about these and a couple of things i don't so first of all um they're usually pretty common and easy to find and they're generally pretty inexpensive um, and also, ready available for the normal turtle person. You can walk into a pet store, get one of these, and have it done with. But there are a couple of drawbacks to this style of basking area. And the biggest one, I think, is that these floating basking docks can't really hold large turtles. Like, even turtles bigger than 3 or 4 inches, once they just hit that mark, the basking platform will start sinking. And that doesn't really work so after your turtle gets larger this basking platform will automatically probably not work for you just because of the floating aspect also for the most part because they're inside the tank you can only really fill the tank halfway and as i discussed in the choosing the tank video you don't want to fill the tank halfway unless you have a baby turtle anyways because a lot of turtles are really great swimmers and they don't need shallow depth of water and so by just limiting the um, amount of water you can fill the tank up to then that will just put more stress on your filter and it just there's less room for the turtle to swim around and i think with these is like the common suction cup ones um they're actually kind of made of like a foam type thing and turtles have eaten this and gotten very very sick gotten impacted because they tried to bite the blasting platform so they can actually eat the material that's not a good thing there's one more thing that i want to mention is that for the suction cup basking platforms is that there's kind of like a space in between the platform and then like where the suction cups actually stick into the um where the suction cups actually stick onto the glass and so in between that gap turtles can also get stuck and if you don't find them, if they get stuck the wrong way, like if they're trying to get down from the basking area, but they put their head underwater, they could drown. So that is also another hazard with these basking platforms. Now, full disclaimer, I have never owned one of these, actually because of the reasons I'm telling you right now is why I decided not to get one. But I was part of this turtle community, and pretty much every week there was like a case of someone who got a basking platform and it just didn't work for them either for any of these reasons mentioned. So... Also in the floating basking dock category are DIY basking platforms. Now, DIY is pretty general because it's a do-it-yourself. You can do it however you want. But one of the most common kind of like floating basking platforms or platforms that are um, standing in the water are egg crate basking platforms. Now, these are great because you can make it any size you want. You can make sure that the turtle won't get stuck in any gaps and you can make sure that the turtle will be able to support itself on that basking platform. Like you could get make an egg crate basking platform with PVC and then just make it the right height that you want it and it'll just stay there. And then the turtle won't have to sink if it's too heavy. But with these, you still have the same problem is that you can't fill your tank all the way up unless you want an escapee and that is not fun to deal with lost turtle i'm telling you from experience okay so that is like one of the biggest drawbacks with just basking platforms that are inside the tank is that um they cannot they don't allow you to fill your tank all the way up so now let's move on to the other types of basking platforms so we have your above tank basking area which is also known as a turtle topper and what it is is it sits on the rim of the tank 
and it has a ramp that goes into the water and your turtle can come out of this and so you can either get the store bought or DIY so first with store bought these are great a lot of the ones that are available you can get for like 30 or 40 dollars and they're pretty sturdy um, I've heard seen some with pretty good reviews and the greatest thing with these above tank basking areas is that First of all, they allow you to fill the tank all the way up. In fact, if the, the um, tank isn't filled all the way up, it won't work. So you can maximize the amount of swimming space you have for your turtle by using an above tank basking area. Also, you can make it so that you can have really big turtles be able to go up there. There are huge above tank basking areas that I've seen that are super cool and they like take up the whole footprint of the tank above so that the turtle can have all the space around there to choose what temperature he wants to be in so they can thermoregulate and decide if they want to be like directly under the heat basking light so they can get all that warmth or if they want to be a little bit farther away. So there's really like no drawbacks to this except you need to have overhead room above the tank and then you have to um, find a place to screw in your basking lights and I just screw mine into the wall it's not a problem for me. But you just need to keep in mind they take up a little bit more space outside of the tank. Otherwise, I love these. And for the DIY ones, it's even better because you can make it whatever size you want. And this one here, you can make them really super cheap. And if you're frugal like me, that's like a really big thing. Like, I made this plastic bin basking area, which I have a tutorial up if you click the I button somewhere around here. Um, this one I made for only 6 maybe six seven maybe eight dollars so it can be and it's not that hard to make either it's really can be a simple thing so that's pretty much it about the different types of basking areas and my thoughts on them but basking is really important your turtle needs a, sp a place to come out of the water and get dry even if you don't have basking lights at the moment try to get those soon as possible of course but they need a place to get dry because that will keep their shell healthy and so that it's not always moist because that's how shell rot happens is they don't have their proper lighting and then they don't have a place to get completely dry so you wouldn't want to put like a substrate in the basking area that would hold moisture so you wouldn't put sand in your basking area maybe dirt if you were trying to get them to lay eggs but that's another topic um you wouldn't use coconut fiber basically just you don't Want the You want the water that they bring up into the basking area with them because they're coming out of the water. You want that to be able to evaporate and um, not be held within the basking area so that they can get completely dry up there. That's really important about a basking area. But yeah, so basking areas are a really important thing with turtles. Just keep those things in mind when trying to pick one out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember that I'm uploading another Turtle 101 video every other Friday. So not this week, but the next will be another Turtle 101 video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give a huge thumbs up. You know the drill. Comment, like, subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys next Friday. Have a turtly awesome day. I love you guys. Bye.